Hello everybody, this is MF and welcome to my new playthrough. This is gonna be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We're gonna play it through all cups of this. Um, and um, yeah, it's just gonna be a casual little playthrough. Um, considering the fact that um, I have already gotten like all of the trophies on uh, three stars on 50 up to mirror. Uh, 200 CC. I'm not so good at that, to be honest, but um, we're gonna play on 50cc anyway. Um, my character of use... I'm gonna try to use as many characters as I can here. I could probably use a character for each cup, I'm sure. Um, my my go-to is, is Daisy, but um, I'm gonna do Mario today. I barely played as Mario. Um, card am I gonna use today, though? Um, I like using... This car, uh, this car is the gold card. Do I have the gold card? Mm, interesting. It wasn't that one I was looking at, actually. Um, I don't know which one would be the best for Mario, to be honest. Is it a gold card, actually? It probably is the gold. I don't think it is the gold card. It's something else that I'm thinking of. Um, anyway, let's just do Tanuki one and uh, Sleek and whatever. So we're doing uh, the Mushroom Cup today, uh, which is Mario Kart Stadium, Water Park, Sweet Sweet Canyon, and Thwomp Ruins. Uh, I'll be honest, I've mostly played the DLC stuff recently, so I haven't really... I'm not really that updated on the... Uh, well, updated. I, I, I haven't played these uh, earlier cups um, that much, but uh, Mario Kart Stadium is a really fun one to start with. Uh, very basic, really, but uh, here's Mario Kart Stadium. Um, I can't imagine any of these cups are going to take that long. Um, I think they significantly shortened the uh, playing time, like the, all of that. Um, in Mario Kart 8. I feel like Mario Kart 7 is much more, um, not 7, we. Mario Kart Wii uh, is much more, it feels more difficult, well, difficult I say, more, it feels like the stage a little longer. Maybe it goes a little slower, I don't know. Um, this car is noisy by the way, I didn't know how noisy this car was. But uh, this shouldn't be too hard. Um, I don't even see what we have here, Days, no, we have Peach. Peach is normally with me on these stages, um, on these cups, because it plays Daisy. Uh, Peach is one of Daisy's my main rivals, along with Waluigi. For some reason, I mean, I guess that Waluigi and Wa and Daisy was released in the same game on the N64, so it makes sense that they would be rivals in Mario Kart. But and Daisy and Peach makes sense, a lot of sense. Uh, so those two are probably the ones I see the most. So nothing major so far. I was expecting like a blue shell or like lightning or something like that, but I'm not seeing anything. We also have Bowser, by the way. Bowser is here. I wonder if the difficulty changes, uh, depending on items, if it, uh, it just, if it changes depending on who you are. I wouldn't think so, but that is something that I've been thinking about a lot. It feels like playing the game with Daisy is more difficult than other characters for some reason. It shouldn't be, but it certainly feels that way sometimes, but whatever. We won this by a landslide. No issues whatsoever on Mario Kart Stadium. And that's that. We have uh, Peach, Bowser, Koopa Troopa, Baby Rosalina, Isabel, Larry, Link, Yoshi, Pichette. Pichette is the new character. One of the new characters from the DLC. The very last wave as well, uh, she was added to. So the, the very last, uh, just a couple of days ago, actually. Uh, just uh, just before the weekend. Uh, and Birdo and Bowser Jr. There we go. The first one is out of the way. Um, I'm basically just going to jump into the cups whenever I start the video. I just talked a little bit beforehand, the video, before the cup now. And I didn't talk that much, really. But anyway, we got a water park here. I should have let the, the thing, the intro little thing, uh, cup scene, whatever, um, run. But... I think a very important fact, uh, or factor rather, about um, 
Mario Kart and 8 and, and 7 for that matter is to collect coins because coins make you go e <coughs> faster. Um, and we might see me get. We were definitely gonna see me get the. Um, what do you call it? The uh, gold. Um, I think it's the gold. Um, uh, levitation device or whatever, like the. Um, Parasol we got, whatever the the glider, glider. There we go. I'm very close to five thousand coins, and I think five thousand coins is what you need. Um, not having that, but there's more. There's a blue shell too. Oh great! I should have waited for that. I didn't even see it. Okay, that's fine. All right. So when Mario Kart gets chaotic, it gets really chaotic. So like, it, if if you hit if you get hit by a one thing, you're usually gonna get hit by several things. I should have waited to. Take that uh, coin because well I can get this to item box anyway. It really uh, fascinated me because I think in the regular Mario Kart 8, not the locks, Mario Kart 8, you cannot hold two items. Yeah, I think in Mario Kart 8 you can only hop hold one item at a time, which is really really fascinating. I went back to play it on the Wii and um, oh the Wii U rather, and not the blue shell. I mean. Whoa, what the heck? How did that hit me? That didn't make any sense. I still won, but that was really... Wow. How did that... I don't know how that... Was it the green shell that hit me or something else? He might have had two, to be fair, but I only saw the one. Anyway, you still won. Even we got hit by like two blue shells as well, which that happens sometimes. You, got, you just got to be prepared for that. <laughs> I'm sure that many of you have already played this game and know what it's about. So, anyway, Sweet Sweet Canyon is not one of my favorite tracks. Uh, it looks cool. I'll give you that, but and I like the music. The music is great, but um, I don't like driving this one. <clears throat> There's like only one section pretty much that I like driving, and that's the spiral. That we'll get to. So this is gonna take a couple of weeks to play through uh, the whole game, as well. Cause I'm doing two cups a uh, um, a week, just to drag it out a little bit. This little spiral here, I love, I love this. That's so fun, and you can take a uh, different paths here, for some reason. Yeah, just in time too. Is that a piranha plant? Hmm. I didn't think there was piranha plants on this station. I haven't played this station in a while, so if there is one, I forgot. And excuse me, but I felt like something was biting after me there, or chomping after me. I don't know. Oh, there's are, there are shade shops here. Yeah, of course there are. There we go. I completely forgot that. Oh, there we go. Oh, one more. Yeah, of course. I'm ahead of myself. We're not done yet. We've had a pretty quiet race. Water Park was not quiet. Marika Stadium was quiet. Well, there's a blue shell, so... I mean, there are some things you can do to avoid the blue shells. Depending on the item you have and stuff. Well, that was unfortunate. That was extremely unfortunate to fall off there, but I still... Uh, I'm still getting first place and 10 coins, so that's good.
guess another thing to note is that if you're trying to um, collect coins, you cannot get more than the 10 coins you have at the end of the race. Um, so even if you collect like, let's say 20, 25 coins per race, you're not going to get that many. You're only going to get to, to, to 10 you or the, the amount that you end the race with. That's what you're going to get for the race. So that's something to uh, consider as well. Anyway, we got Thwomp Ruins, the final race of Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, Mushroom Cup, not Mushroom Kingdom. Hey, Bowser, what's up? Right, so uh, let me just talk about how you can avoid... Um, Um, the blue shell. You can you can avoid it by driving off at the very last minute. I'm just gonna do that. I don't know. That was probably stupid of me. Whatever. Um. Oh my god. You can uh, you can use a horn. Um, that's probably the most the best thing to do if you have, can have it. Or you can avoid it with a mushroom as well. So you can um. So if you have a mushroom, you can. Boost your way out of the, uh, the blue shell. Um, which is something that... It's very timing based. It's very... I Once you have it, you have it. But um, see if I can get... I cannot get anything. Another way to avoid uh, blue shells, of course, is to just drop back and let uh, another person, another player take it or whatever. Come on, man. I need points. I cannot... I, I'm so bad. Why am I playing so badly here? Five coins. I need more coins. Another thing that I've noticed, by the way, when it comes to... Another blue shell. Are you actually serious? You cannot be serious with this. All right, well, the red shell negated it, so that's good. I've noticed that if you have a horn, very often a lightning will come and then a blue shell. So like, they will negate your, uh, your uh, horn very often, but anyway, you got it anyway, so. There you go, that's the Mushroom Cup. And we won with flying colors. That was like, what, five red blue shells? None, no blue shells uh, on Mario Kart Stadium, but we got a blue shell twice on Water Park, once on Sweet Sweet Canyon, and twice here, so five. Yes, I will be counting them. Anyway, that's uh, Mushroom Cup. Next time we'll be doing Flower Cup. Um, but let me just get through this uh, little, because it'll just show you the whole thing here. I'm pretty sure that, um, I'm pretty sure that I have, um, played Mario Kart 8 on my channel before. I have a couple of videos, but, um, this has got to be a full playthrough. Um, there we go. First in every course. And when you get first in every course, you will get three stars. Um... As you can see, three stars for me. I already had that, but there we go. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And next time, we're taking on Flower Cup. Yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.